I think we're good to go. Oh, it is just straight dungeon. Okay, that's kind of what I was wondering. I assumed... Oh, wow. Now that it's more uncovered, the background of the what, mouse whale is open like that. Oh, that's cool. I super want this entire thing as a background wallpaper, like scroll something. Because it looks so good. The colors, the blocking out. I love it so much. Let's see, now I gotta prepare for dungeon related. Decent number can gather sloth. Gluttony is where we're actually kind of weak on. No. Too many people doing pride. Oh, I hope I don't have to rerun a dungeon. I... Ooh. It is said that Kui Kui's ropes twisted by her powerful grip and her exo... Esotric? Techniques? are tougher than any other rope in the world. Kuike told me not to leave her alone in the cold, dark lake. But she didn't want the whales and mermaids to tear her apart and devour her when the when her corpse sinks deep into its waters. I agreed. The wounds in her skin that only I knew of, the memories of her pain. I didn't want those monsters to heartlessly rip into them, to gorge themselves with her scarred flesh. So Kwikwek built herself a coffin. Built heartily and fastened... Wait. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> okay. Built heartily and fastened with ropes. Oops. Twisted on it to her strength, is that our coffin could not break no matter how precariously the ship swayed. That is the hairband. I thought it was. Or at least that's what it's looking like. Uh, my hands gripped nipped onto that very same rope tied to the coffin. Often. We're starting to peel and bleed. And my dearest friend's hollow coffin was the only thing keeping me afloat on that whirling lake. Any... is there anyone out there? Anyone? In that empty lake, stranded amidst Pequon's desolation, I called out from the top of my lungs. Please, anyone, say something, anything. When I realized that everyone I had ever had any ties to... Anyone, everyone I ever had any ties to in the blink of an eye had been taken from this world. My gasping, wheezing self, barely holding on to life, seemed... Ahab, come aboard my ship and sail with me to the cold abyss of the lake. Ahab, 
Not even I, drowning yet breathing, could escape Captain Ahab. Even in this deafening silence, Ahab's echoes, echoing bellows, strangle me. Even in death, my mates remain trapped with the captain. In joy and in sorrow, I'll never forget. The strands that were ripped, ripped away from me. I'll be buried in this lake forever to my last gasping breath. Try as I might to escape the rising waters, only loneliness fills my lungs. I always told you who I did. Rope, grab tight, or sink. You? How long have you been here? Always, always been here. Ishmael's level rises to 40. Ishmael up tie and thread spin tier yours rise to tier 4. Ishmael gains compulsion at the start of every encounter. <laughs> oh, we're stuck with this until the end of the damn game, aren't we? Oh, uh, the fact that it's fashioned to do a noose is kind of... I guess fitting with the ropes. Uh, fix member must have Ishmael. If you didn't see the compulsion before, you will now. Uh, Ryoshu. Do this group, maybe. I can't remember if... Depending on... Uh, recent... Um, like experience thread thing is more pierce heavy, which I think is more of the pallid whale Moby Dick's um, enemy type. The immediate sensation upon walking up, up was that it was moist and cold, yet only warm in some places. Where are we? Hmm. There's this long river-like thing. If we follow it, maybe... There will be something at the end of it. Hunlu, how can you always be so calm about everything? Is he? I think that's just how that fella, fella is with pretty much everything. No, that's not what I'm... I mean, where do you guys think this is? We just... I am well aware. We rode into the maws of the beast of our own volition. Not long ago. Okay, this is where... Ishmael proposed the plan that everyone called her crazy for. Ah, uh, I'm proposing that we enter the stomach of the whale that devoured the golden bell. You're mad. All that thrashing finally sent you out the deep end. I'm just going there for mission and the golden bell that ass happens to be in the way. I'll leave it up to you, well, to the manager, since their decision matters the most. This company, me, we're both just trying to find our and reach our goals. That's all this is. Besides, does anyone have, have a better idea? Does that thing swallow the golden ball, and if that golden ball really can interact the damn pallid whale's pallid pallidification effects, then we just might be able to survive without getting affected by it. That's a gamble, Ishii. 
There's just... Yeah, you should know. It's one of your favorite things. What do you think, manager? Kind of throwing that in Roja's face, but... Can't blame her. <laughs> Ishmael looked at me with expectant eyes as though she knew, knew I had no choice but to agree to this plan. Her eyes were telling me you came in this far for the golden ball. You're not going to go back empty handed now, are you? Not like we're allowed to. <laughs> Six hours. If I don't hear anything from you in six hours, LCA will be taking over the rest of this mission. Okay, LCA takes over the mission, then what? Well, if they hear the very unfortunate news that all of you decided to row into the whale's belly and got your yourselves trapped, they'll be having a long internal discussion about how oh, they could would blow the pallid whale apart. Then a very lengthy battle will ensue. Okay, so let me get this straight. If we fail to find the golden ball stuck somewhere inside the whale's stomach in six hours, you won't hesitate to blow us to smithereens along with the whale. Did I get that right? I will not relay that comment. <laughs> Faust, come on! Faust, what do you think of our, think of our odds? Our odds are non-zero. But it may as well be nil. At least with the currently known variables. So, we have a chance. Do you have any other ideas that might get us to the golden bell? No, not at this moment. What I can tell you, however, is that we have a history of dramatically completing missions with the variable low chances of success. Okay then, let's get this done. Indeed, the lack of plan becomes the plan itself. This solidifies the veracity of my new theory even further. Luckily, we didn't lose any sinners on the way down. All 12 of them made it down here, just as we planned. But... Guys, where's... Where's the boat? <laughs> The boat was nowhere to be seen. Do we need a boat? I mean, it might be helpful. Okay, it is pure heavy. Try to build up some gluttony as much as I can. Jump! Very nice, you. <laughs> The issue going wild. Oh wait, she's gonna have negative twenty-five every single battle. The... Is she gonna get another twenty-five negative when we enter the next one, or is it just static negative twenty-five and we'll go up during the encounter? <laughs> I hope it's static 25 <laughs> cuz oof and not like a fresh new set of here's another negative 25 for you uh men we will commence a search this boat must be found as soon as possible no there's no need for a search 400 meters to your right there is a boat there is the boat Quite observant, Irvin, you are. Let's not waste any time and return to the boat. Allow me to finish. There is a boat in a ditch. 75% of its hull integrity has been breached, and its remains are scattered to the ground. The boat's gone. 
Wow, so this was a piece of our boat, huh? That vessel was designed to be used more than three times. Hang Lu was pointing at the pitiful sight of an absolutely busted looking piece of the propeller. Well, to be exact, busted pieces of the propeller and what appeared to have once been our boat's engine. And something comes to a sputtering halt amidst the wreckage. Thus it rests here forevermore. This would have been quite the painful sight for Mika and Rain. This is a pretty painful sight for us too. Uh, so what do we... Manager, you can still sense the golden bow, right? Yeah, unlike at the Lobotomy Corp, I can definitely feel that it's somewhere in here. But it's also pretty far away, so I can't tell where it exactly... Great, are you ready to turn the clock? What's this about turning the clock? Oh! The whale's pillar had taken over their body. Bodies and minds. Of course, it only makes sense that this place is crawling along with mermaids. Looks like these are some of the LCB agents. Alpha 5 thing. I need my mat. Get my chair. I'm gonna use this mouse pad for now. No, okay, no. That's okay. Okay. 25 consistent. I hadn't looked. It doesn't seem to go up either. Oh no. Just constant negative? The bells outside it seemed to raise during. Okay, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, she went up to negative 13, so it's gonna go down again. Uh. There's some gloom. I need a lot of gloom later, too. Even if they're not. Susceptible to it as much. Nothing too bad so far. <sighs> yeah, let's bounce before more of those mermaids show up. Bounce? Where? We're trapped inside a whale. Are we, are we gonna end up looking like them too? You know, we've been devoured. The golden ball inside Dante's head is likely counteracting the palatification effects on the cinder's bodies. But there is no guarantee that this defensive effect would last forever. We must take into account that we are in an unknown environment. In other words, spending too long here could turn us into mermaids just like them. I wasn't sure if I could bring back a sinner that turned into a mermaid. But, where do we even go? I don't even have the slightest idea as to where we might be. Weird. I didn't know it could rain inside a whale's body. Belly. I was still unsure where to go, so much so that I was starting to feel completely lost when Hung Lu suddenly blurted something about rain. What are you talking about? 
It's just that I felt a few droplets of water on my shoulder. It's probably stomach acid, right? Wait. So this is the first place we land... ended on after... or the whale swallowed us whole, isn't it? Right. Sorry, I just sometimes need someone to confirm my common sense. When you eat something, where does it usually land first? My stomach, of course. My poor, starving stomach. I see your point, Heathcliff. The stomach constantly secretes acid in order to digest the food effectively. Yeah, I think I learned about it in school. It's usually some kind of powerful acid. That dissolves everything it touches. Oh. So that's why my clothes is melted where the water touches. Feels a bit prickly, too. I stared at Hong Lu's shoulder. Something had burrowed a hole there. And the surrounding skin was sizzling and melting away. Are we fated to become porridge so soon after our arrival? There is one positive discovery, however. This creature appears to share similar biological mechanisms and shapes as an ordinary organic life form. Everyone, we gotta run. I don't care how many pieces of you there are left, just make sure that there's something left for me to bring back. Things like that, that will keep the sinner's health up. It does reset the... Sanity, but that's fine. It's not like Yishis is going anywhere! And so we ran, trying to weave our way between the pouring out stomach acid. Without even knowing where we were supposed to go. Well, man, what a funny sight, eh? Funny, that's more suspicious than funny. Too loud. Great, now we caught their attention. Who's there? I heard you guys talking down there. Those mermaids speak? We're not mermaids. Ever seen a mermaid this chatty? Their palification effects have only partially progressed. So what does that make them? Half human, half fish? Well, we don't got much time, so I'll make it short. This stone floats with acid every ten minutes or so. Unless you guys are all made of steel, you better side fast. Either take their rope we're about to throw down, or become sludgy nutrients for the whale and be one on with it forever and ever. Well, even if you all turn to sludge, we can still salvage your weapons. We don't got nothing to lose. Some of them are already starting to melt. Do we even have a choice? Rope? No! <laughs> they must have muttered something amongst themselves as though they found something funny about this situation and tossed an odd-looking rope in our direction. This rope feels funny. That rope, right? They're made of capillary, or we pulled straight from its lungs. It'll last more than an hour, even in this, even in its stomach acid. Greg, why did you even ask that? Ugh, I hate it. With Roja and her grumblings in tow, we struggled up the bundle of capillary rope. I don't know who you guys are, but thanks! Hell yeah, what a catch! We'll net us upwards of three coins for this. 
I think this TikToking friend might be worth more than that. A cat? You think you fished us up? We come here every once in a while to check if anyone's worst up. Yeah. But most of them, poor castaways, are already almost full mermaids by the time we find them. In a matter of minutes, they're all rearing to kill us. And the rest are... Just your everyday mermaids. <laughs> ah, so this is a special occasion then. This is probably the first time ever we found sailors that could not only talk, but also weren't halfway turned into mermaids. So, why do you guys come here every once in a while then? The club friend here keeps tick talking. Are they saying something? Doubt they're a full on robot. Don't most people prefer to keep the ability to speak even when replacing their bodies with prosthetics? Guess the trends have really changed since we got here. Uh, so that buddy there, well, it's a long story. But yeah, they can't communicate normally. Hmm. Oh good, everyone's got a story they want to tell. We can sympathize a little. Talking ain't the easiest thing to do. Consider yourselves lucked out, fellas. You guys ran into us, of all things. Cause we'll be able to get out of here real soon. We followed their confident, guiding steps, but there was no way to look at the situation without a bit of suspicion. Where do you think they're taking us? What if they're leading us into a trap? If they were trying to attack us, they would have done so when we were almost at the top of the cliff. We were completely vulnerable to attacks there. I'm assuming they're not Pequod crew members if Ishmael isn't having a reaction to them. But it could also be that because of the palfification, she's... They don't look quite the same as they did before. And... Or maybe they are, because now she seems to have some sort of reaction. Ishmael opened her mouth as though she was about to say something, but then stopped herself before turning around. It looks like she it looked like she hadn't finished processing her thoughts yet. I'm sure I've seen that harpoon before somewhere. Okay, could be a Pequot crew member. So what ship are you guys from again? It's called the Limbus. You probably haven't heard of it, yeah? Well, talk straight, man. It's not like you're a mermaid. Who's your captain if they're from U Corp? Or if their name just might ring a bell. Hmm? Who's our captain again? I don't know, guys. I've never taken the helm. Not sure if I can call myself a captain here. The helm, forsooth. If this be all, all about who handles the wheel, I am quite well of, of bleh, quite well aware of our captain. Charon is our captain indeed. Ah, no, never heard of him. I guess it's really been a while then. He scratches his head. Captain Charon clearly didn't ring a bell. You? How long has it been since you were trapped in here? Eight months. No dumbass, this is our third year. Our last count was 644 days, so... I don't know, lady. I quit counting. In the days a while ago. I've completely lost track of time since we got stuck inside where the sun don't shine. 
I see. I know only one person that ties a knot to their harpoon like that. Oh, this? It's called the Desperate Snot. Even in our town, the all, only the experienced few know how to tie it. So, they're here. I, I think I know you. Ishmael comes to a sudden stop, and so do our guides. Not because of what she said. I can't exactly tell what we're entering here. <laughs> but let's do it. <laughs> Pequod Town! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Here we are. Welcome to Pequod Town. We're back, Captain. Look what we fished up. Captain? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Quite the catch indeed. You certainly are an excellent scout, Starbuck. A wily old woman approached us, her harsh voice tickling our ears. Two gold coins for you, lad. And here's one for the twins. Thank you, Captain. It has been a long, long while since our Pequod town gained new villagers. Villagers? Not guests? Gregor. I don't imagine many people make it out of here if they've been stuck here for years. That woman seems to think us already bound to this village. I knew it. Welcome. I have built this village and watched over these poor wretched souls. Soon I shall set sail on my the final voyage with my crew. Hey, I am Captain Ahab. Can I? Wait, is there a way to like pull, like get rid of the? What's that? Honestly, not what I expected. I'm not against it, but not what I expected. Ah, Ishmael? <laughs> you have no idea how I've waited, how I've longed for this moment. You won't ever know, because I'll gut you like a fish before you even have the chance to find out. Muttering Ishmael charged today, Ahab. What a way to greet your captain, Ishmael. The captain remains sincere, even as Ishmael suddenly charged at her. Ishmael? Wait. Now that you mention it... You thankless bastards, you dare attack our captain? We'll show you what we're made of. We'll toss you in the back of that river of acid. We're going to be fighting through Pequot Town. They also take Pierce. How lucky. <laughs> Probably because they are partially covered. Okay, up, up. This is fucking hopeless, really? Gambling. Okay, 
they ran. Opposed neutral, favored, dominating, favored, first, on a post. Come on! Now! Oh god, you sunk. That'll be going better, and then it went south. There's a stagger at least. And another stagger. I only have a plus for some reason. <laughs> That's red, that danger. I say dearly wish to see again. Yeah, dearly wish to see again, okay. You got mom in summer, kid. Favorite, favorite, dominating. Come on, you! Oh, god damn it! Right at the end! Right! God damn it! Neutral Bunch of hopeless Some favored I might throw this out Good lord They don't like Pierce, so Sun Shower still wins. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about where this is going. 280. Shit. Sun Shower's so good. Especially right now. Everyone get a little bit. Uh, I can't take out Ishii, but she's... ファウスト가 <laughs> Not a lot of good men left, they have. <laughs> Ishmael quickly leapt the side of Baby and a harpoon that struck the spot where she was standing on. Who's this now? My crew is nothing if not loyal. 
more so than anyone in the world. And this one here is second to none when it comes to harpoon and nearing. It's Queequeg. Oh my god, if it's not Queequeg. So, do you still fail to see e that the attack at me here is court death? It's absolutely Queequeg. A sailor wearing an odd looking mask joined the fray. Blimey, look at the size of that harpoon. A direct hit from that will turn your bones to dust. That one. That one's a real warrior. Haha. -ha. Could you stop being so bloody creepy for one second? <laughs> Give me shivers out of nowhere. Hi, quick, quick. Ooh. Okay, it says dominating. Dominating. Favored, at least. Struggling. What about against lust of any? Favored. Favored. Dominating. Not too bad. Not? Okay, we're doing all right. At least this first round, he's getting some decent damage on him. At least on the body. And actually to the main health bar too, so that's... Oh god, ads. <laughs> Goodbye, yes. Okay. I'm not gonna focus... Quick way, but... The goal will be to get rid of the abs. Neutral. Favored. Favored. Post. Where is this one hitting? <laughs> yes, it's not that it matters much. Okay. Do you get a retaliation hit, but mm, could have been worse. Okay, now actual hits. Hopeless! Not what I like to see. And that's an AoE. Um. Two, two, two. Dominating. Traveling favored. Okay. Favored. Favored on that. These things can hopefully get rid of that. Actually, those might go away with um thing we do. Control. Favorite. Ah. 
because he should be another AoE. Please let him win. I thought it had an AoE effect. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe I should have had two people. Shit. What happened to that favorite shit? Ow! <laughs> My goal is kind of just kill them, hopefully, with the AoE and get Quick Wig and Stagger. I'm still calling it Quick Wig because I'm. Like, it has to be. <laughs> they showed off the rope thing. Mentioned being like the best harpooner. Okay. Add left. Somehow not staggered. There it is. That was absolutely needed. Frick more. Actually, not even staggered. I'm annoyed. Shit, I'm running low on gloom. Dominating. Mm. Dominating. 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 Struggling. Struggling. Unfortunately, that's your only hit options. Unopposed. How do I... Focus song... Screw it, going for it. Also, I, I don't remember this one having an AOE, but I'll take it. Uh, you're doing your freaking bullshit, too. Okay. Dominate. Dominating. 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 I think you only had two counters. Oh, just full easy target, huh? Okay. Options are limited.
try it. Wow, that's like straight tie. Struggling. Okay. We don't like shackles. Oh, wait. Two, two, three. Okay, we can't do that one again because I'm low on grass. Need to do more wrath stuff. No ammo. I'm fine doing offset. Neutral. Yeah, yes. That's the best option, I think. Go, we should go. No, no. Smack him with the fish. Ja. <laughs> yeah, that one was neutral, so... Ow! <sighs> Favored. Hopeless. Like a pote, I guess. What about the blue? Neutral. Traveling. Hopeless. Say please go here, but I don't think any of you are gonna listen. Wow. Well, okay, there's the we I was thinking of. Going for quick leg, which helpful? Rude? Going win, right? It's not gonna win. But... Okay. I give. I give. Okay, give up. Okay. Okay. We're we're done. We're done. We're done. Whew, that was going so well, and then just started falling apart. 
Alrighty then. Whew. Okay. Doesn't like um blunt though. So now I can go in with a new set. 